How's it going today guys? My name is Ethan and welcome to Rapture and we are back in Mafia 2 today where we are just continuing on with the main story. We've got our own apartment, we've got a better convertible car, it is finally not snowing outside and now we just get to continue on and do some Mafia shit. I don't even know what the fuck we're doing. So, this apartment is different than Joe's, so it's compute. Is it Joe? Is that name? Joe? Jim? Something? Fuck. Completely forgotten his fucking name now. Anyway, I changed up the suit a bit just to suit the, the outside that? lifestyle, right? He's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid used to live down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. I might stick with this one for a while, just because... Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a the lot better, right? The fuck dropping a frame, dude. I so hope so. There shouldn't be that much going on that... A remaster like this has to drop frames all the time. And the rendering distance is terrible, like... Like, I am literally only playing this game for a decent Mafia story. So what's the deal? Simple. Just gotta go to Oops. a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. I seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. All right. I don't know why that um, Vito is working for because I'm sure, isn't this the boss that's young and isn't exact, like, isn't wise enough to lead the, like, lead at the moment? I'm sure that's what it was, wasn't it? Get out the way. Please. Thank you. Alright. That was close. All right. How far away are we? Ah, good. Just up the road. I keep pressing the wrong button to um, handbrake. Ah, there we go, circles. Are we meant to get out or no? What are you trying to kill us? You're still breathing, ain't you? Alright, here we go. What now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buying bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a cotton of reds, Vito. What? You think this is funny? I said I need reds. All right. I was just pressing the first thing that was there. That's more like it. Here it is. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. All right, hand it over. Cops are gonna turn up out of nowhere. Just watch. This never goes well. Here it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. I 
few hours later. What is it empty after a few hours? Wow. Oh, oh no, this is still the same. Or close to it at least. What the fuck? Hey Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? Oh, here we go, what's going on here? I think I'll take the whites this time. Yeah, that Vito. Let's go. Caught in the whites. Bingo. Surprised he's paying the same as everyone well, get else. Get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Alright. Let's go. Where the hell are we going? There are parts about this game that's actually really good. I love it. The story's great, characters are great. Just if I was playing this game on PS3, I wouldn't have minded it. Because it would have had like a slightly downgrade. But I wouldn't have such the crap, like frame crashes. Like it's just not good, you know. Anyway, five hundred bucks is that so all? So the kid Mike, he works for Eddie too. <laughs> In his dreams, kid's not even eighteen yet. He does jobs for me, drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, the kid's got you for a role model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, wise guy. He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? It's weird, even in the tunnel, like, you just see the frames drop a little bit more. I don't know, just... As I said before, it just seems like they're not putting, they didn't put a lot of work into this one, which I get, but it's still disappointing to bring a half-assed product out. But anyway, does not bother me. I'm just, I just play a game as is. I will give my opinion as I play, but other than that, see, just then. Oh shit. Was there not a car? Oh. Alright, here we go. Come on. Well, that's a nice car too. God damn it, seeing too, too many nice cars around. Oh shit. You did that yourself, mate. Bloody cops, man. Just don't know how to drive. Which is weird, because they get you for speeding, right? But you crash into them and nothing happens. See what the fuck? Is it just that too much is going on, or what? See, what did I tell you? It's going like butter today. Alright, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. Alright, alright, listen. If the next few hours are anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's <laughs> the veto I know. Alright, we'll be there in a second. Yeah, something's gonna go wrong. I come on, there has to. Something has to. Hey, a cotton of blues, if you please. Give me a cotton of blues. Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Here it is. Hi, I'll take a box of reds. Cotton of reds, Vito. Bingo. 
Come on, what next? Yeah. Buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Oh, fuck him up. Okay, Come boys. on. I think it's time for fire sale. Shit. Yo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now? Who do I gotta say? Oh That's shit. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. Alright, let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Wow, this car oh. It's not a bad car. Step on it, Vito, he's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any fast. The hell car doesn't go any higher than 60. There we go, yeah, that's better. Come on. Oh, oh. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Ugh. Come on, how much faster do you have to go? To they are getting away, oh, what the shit. hell? No. Shit, we should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth to call. Alright, find a phone booth. I think you just go past them as you drive, so... We'll just stop off. There'll have to be one somewhere. No, that'll have to be on a main road. Let's just. Ah, oh, there's one. Was it just was it seriously on the road that I was just at? Oh my god. Get out the way, come on. Alright. Well, who else would I call? Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, look, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for uh. you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right. Sure, Eddie. 
Don't worry. We'll take care of it. I don't like him. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of that crazy horse. The good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand of it. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Thought this one would be better. Well, we don't want to be. <sighs> Damn it. Oh crap, there's a cop right there. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed. Two hundred. This is really all about it. Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund. Can I go now? Thank you. Wow, that was a real waste of money there, but oh well. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick two thousand dollars worth of shit out of you. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Hmm, I don't think that'll go well. Why would the speed limit here be 70? Boo! Don't like that. No worries, let's just go and fuck these dudes up. Hey, okay, good little cars, I'll say. Oh, shit. <coughs> All right, so I'll have to learn how to do that properly. Yeah, mate, get out the way. All right. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy. I'm in a rush. See, as long as you don't like speed while you're passing the cops, then they don't even bother. Literally, you can just slam the brakes on in front of them, and they won't do anything. See, and like basically on these roads, as long as you're like up to, I think it's like around 40, then you're good to go. Yeah, it is 40. God, imagine we got 40 on these roads. Nah, fuck that. Imagine people used to be playing GTA 5 and just started playing this. They'll get pulled over for speeding all the time. They'll be like, what the fuck? It's going shit out of All right. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Marty? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, Man, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What you Shut up, day? kid. I'm talking here. So like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? Well, easily. With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> um, I just, I don't have a machine gun on me, so. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful! Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. The 
fuck? That explosion is All right. Hectic, yeah. Now we go to the foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. So, where, where's my car at? Ah. Oh, little blue thing here. I actually really like this car. I'm going to keep this gun. Alright. Yeah, keep this one. Get rid of some of the DLC cars and keep the convertible. And that'll be my first two. But then I think the convertible is from like a DLC anyway, so it's like you kind of want to find one on the road and do it up yourself. And I don't know, we'll have a look around. Because I think blowing up your car is probably like the first way to go. Alright, Empire Bay Forge. How'd you get in here? Follow the fucking yellow brick road. If I got a weapon on me or next. Ha, nice one. You fuckers are dead. So, watch out! Oh, thanks, kid. Oh, shit. shit. They got guns! Let them have it! They, got guns. they didn't like want a bloodbath though. Fine. The hell is going on? I'll cover you. I'll cover you. Move it. Come on, just headshot all these dudes. There we go. Come on, man, boom. Oh, no. Is that the fucking best you got? That oh, you're in trouble. Come Shit, let's go. And, oh shit, dude. Back me up, Vito. Oh. I can't get a good shot. Why is that dude just standing back? It's fucking over. All right. One more like that, he's dead. Oh, they tried to never shotgun anymore. I'm trying to blow up their car, because I'll take up a lot of them. more I 
All right then, let's get this done. So I just killed a couple of them so we can just get to the next part so it's easier. Look, you guys won't take them out because you're a bunch of pussies, so Tell I have to. Come on, we'll bring this dude out first. If he's ever like gonna come out. He's gone. He's gone. Oh jeez, a lot of them in now. Look out, he's got a gun! Well what else would I have? Like No wrong air. Alright, there shouldn't be too many more, I don't think. Kill that guy. Hey, it's stupid because there's so many that they take all the good spots. Like, so you can't even get up there. be too long now, let's go, come on. That one shoots a little bit faster, so we might go with that one. Just for now at least. What, headshots? Yeah, because I'm that good cunt. I mean, bitch. Yeah, that's the word. Alright, now what? Oh yeah, so what? Yeah, I'm like thinking my head just get in front of me. Way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do? Just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody. No more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joey, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Alright. Next. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the Falcon. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar. Oh. Wait, what happened to my... my good old blue machine? There she is, look at her. Nah, no, that's, that's not that impressive to me, so... What do I have to... <sighs> Why? It's not fair.
Like, yeah, it's a decent car, like, fuck. It's one of the better controlling cars in the game, but... And its speed is insane. One day, I'll just get enough money to do what the fuck I want in this game. One day. How far we got to go? Jesus, all the way down. God damn it. How do I turn off the radio? There we go, guys. So I'm going to think, I think I'm going to end this episode here for today. God damn it. And in the next one, we, well, I'll already be down at the Derek dude's place. And then we will just carry on with the next, well, carry on with the story. If you guys want to catch up with me and uh, just uh, keep in touch with all my updates, make sure to follow me on all my social medias that are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.